lecture or micro lecture today, clouds, crowds and daffodils. So I live in Cornwall. We have some of the earliest flowering daffodils in the whole country. Not already. So I pulled out my phone and snapped a photo. I uploaded it to my favourite image sharing website. And it's sent to their server in the cloud. Moments later, it's on my profile page back on my screen. A few minutes later, loads of comments. Brilliant. Possibly because I'd planted all the daffodil bulbs in a rather rude shape, but that's it. <laughs> and then, somebody who obviously doesn't have an appreciation for daffodils, or birds and bees for that matter, presses flag inappropriate content button. Within seconds, the image is vanished. How has this image been reviewed in my task? Artificial intelligence? Image recognition? Software robots? Possibly. But no, in this case, as Amazon dubs it, it's artificial, artificial intelligence, crowdsourcing. So the link to my image has been passed to a crowdsourcing server in the cloud, bundled up with hundreds of other images, listed and then selected by a virtual worker, possibly your neighbour, possibly someone on the other side of the world, lying on a couch, gazing at a computer screen with a vacant stare, scrolling through hundreds of images, earning a few cents per image. And then they see my daffodils picture and click reject. <laughs> my account is suspended, so I have to open a new account. So I fill in all my details, and then those darn little capture text things. So you've got some black and white text that's bent and fuzzy and spelled wrong, and I have to struggle to copy it into a little box. But that too is crowdsourcing. So somewhere in the world, millions of books are being digitally scanned. Say, a book of Wordsworth poetry. And then the page is a bit bent, and the computer can't manage a few of those words. Those words are chopped up, distributed out around the world to thousands of people on web forms, where you and I have to painstakingly translate them. So I'll just leave you with this. Please, next time, if you're lonely reading a poem on your iPad, please just have a thought for the crowd. Thank you.